Hey everyone and welcome to uh, the shortwave radio channel. I wanted to uh, show you a little demonstration here of something. So I'm on 518 kilohertz, uh, 517 upper sideband for DAFTEX uh, decoding. And uh, this one is uh, using the uh, AirSpy HF Plus Discovery uh, using the uh, software, which is the, of course, uh, uh, SDR console software. Now, it's difficult to really assess and, and, and you know, know what device performs better than others, especially when you're not using the same software. Uh, but it is interesting to note that I've had a stronger and more solid decode on the AirSpy HF Plus and the Navtex medium wave range than I did with the RSPDX. So the RSPDX is here. Um, it's using, of course, the same software, which is FLDG for Navtex to code. Uh, but for some reason, the HF, uh, the AirSpy HF Plus discovery seems to pull it in just a little bit stronger. Enough to make a difference between a cleaner decode, because it's not 100%, but a cleaner decode than um, the, um, the RSPDX. So here you see I'm getting garbage here on the RSPDX right now. And yet, I'm getting some interesting decode here on the AirSpy HF Plus. So when we talk about performance, performance is uneven on devices. You know, there are frequency ranges where devices are performing better than others. I don't think we can say one device performs better overall everywhere, but definitely some devices perform better on some frequencies than others. Here, what I see is that it seems that the AirSpy HF Plus is more sensitive on those lower frequencies. And one of the things that I did was actually activate the high dynamic range mode for low frequencies. And, um, you know, maybe that's where it is interesting because we hear a lot of people you know, like, you know, preaching for the AirSpy HF Plus being superior to the SDR Play RSP devices. On shortwave, I haven't seen any difference. And on shortwave, I do not believe there's much difference or enough to really make a difference. But where I have read a lot about the performance on the H, uh, AirSpy HF Plus was on medium wave and long wave. And when I look at this right now, even though I'm not using the same software, I, I got to say that it's possible that below, you know, um, three, two megahertz or in a medium wave or long wave range anyways, that the AirSpy HF Plus maybe performs better and it is totally possible. Uh, at least here I'm getting the code. Uh, and if we go back here, we're still getting garbage. So this is very interesting. Um, it's, it's the first time that I see enough of a difference to really note that, okay, maybe we have something here. Um, on the low frequencies. So it's possible that the AirSpy HF Plus for medium wave, long wave DXers is a better choice. Um, that is totally possible when I look at the results I've got here. But it is totally interesting to see all of this performance and all of these differences between um, the two devices. So the uh, SDR Play RSPDX here and uh, the AirSpy HF Plus Discovery here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.